What's going on, Rejuvenation? Johnny Bubbles back with another Shoe Care Academy video. Today, I'm gonna be using our essential kit to clean up these Lightning 4s that, as you can see, look crispier, burnt more than a bacon that Miguel cooked on a Sunday morning. I was in the sand going fishing. Sheesh! But if you checked out our YouTube short, you would see how these actually got dirty. Miguel had the pleasure of rocking these for a few weeks. I went fishing with those. He went fishing with like, bro, you went fishing with the lightning? Oh, we'll show the pictures. Oh, the pictures wow. came out good. Okay, Jacob, include the pictures of Miguel going fishing. I don't even know you fish. I fish. But we're gonna go ahead and clean these up, guys. So without further ado, let's get bubbly. For before and after purposes, we're gonna take the left shoe, put it aside, start by entering our shoe tree. These are a size 11. I know that because Miguel and I share the same size. Insert it into the shoe. And remove the laces. All right, now that the laces are removed, it's personal preference. You can either leave them in the bowl while you do the entire cleaning or you can clean them afterwards. For this purpose, I'm gonna set them in our bowl of water and solution or water mixture right now. Grab our bottle of solution and pour two small squirts into our bowl. Before I get into the cleaning guys, I do wanna mention that I am a little concerned about cleaning this material. Now it is new buck, however, the bright color I know in the past has tend to stain. So I'm hoping it doesn't stain too bad and I'm hoping the color doesn't fade. However, that is one of my concerns. So be aware that if you are cleaning the shoe, just be careful, hit a couple spots in the back first before you clean the entire shoe. But that's why we do it here to make sure that everything is fine. And if it's not, we'll let you know. But I'm gonna take our soft brush, dip it into our bowl of water and solution mixture and begin cleaning the uppers. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> you need some Benadryl? You need a hug. All right guys, I am done using the soft brush on the entire uppers. Now they are looking really, really good. There are a couple stains that I'm gonna hit up with the medium brush, and then I'll use that same medium brush to hit the midsole. But let's talk about the shoe a little bit. First released back in 2006, when Miguel was only six. Jesus, Miguel, yeah, I can't I was, believe you I were six ten. back in the day. Ten. So when I heard these were retroing, guys, I was a big fan because I didn't have the 2006 pair and I wasn't trying to throw out the big bucks that they were asking for a 2006 pair. But I know a lot of old heads were not feeling it. They were like, nope, don't bring back the Lightnings. This is one of those classic fours that should just not be retroed. But I'm a fan of it. I definitely like it. See, Ken, you said you don't like yellow shoes. How do you feel about this one? I do like them. I just don't think I myself could buy them. What if I gift them to you? Would you take them? I would take them all day. Oh, all right. Well, I definitely like this yellow shoe. I'm not a big fan of yellow shoes either, but the Paulings that Miguel wore and these that Miguel wore are definitely in my list of shoes that you guys should have in your collection. But now it's time to move on to the medium brush. We're gonna go ahead and grab it, dip it into our bowl of water and solution mixture and start cleaning these midsoles. Boom, and that's a clean midsole. Now we're gonna move on to the outsole, guys. Take care of this with our stiff bristle brush. Bam, CK. Look at that outsole looking nice and clean once again. Now we get a lot of questions asking why we clean the outsole once we're done with the shoe, if they're just gonna be worn again. And honestly, I highly recommend everyone to clean their shoe if they're gonna be putting it back in the box or displaying it in the case, or for resale purposes, clean the bottom of the shoe, get a little bit more money, you know, for that value of the shoe. But that is gonna be it for the entire cleaning. Now it's time to get our laces here, which have been soaking in our bowl of water and solution mixture. Mix it around. 
We're gonna rub them in between our hands. These are pretty dirty. All right, looking good. Now it's time to take the shoe outside with the laces and let them dry. I'll see you guys in just a bit. All right, guys, we are back. We went ahead and let the shoes dry for a few days because we had Many Worlds pre-party, sneaker con, and now it's a wonderful Monday and the shoes dried up really nicely. Now, as you can see, they definitely cleaned up. They're not as dusty as they were when we started the cleaning. However, the material, it's a little crunchy, man. Now, when it comes to suede, we typically can reset the nap and bring it back to soft. But when it's new buck like this, it's a little trickier. So I'm hoping with the dry suede kit, I can do the same steps. Try to reset the material and bring it back. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. So just be aware that anytime you clean new buck, there are chances of it just getting like really crunchy, kind of like leathery material. So just be careful. But let's go ahead and take the medium brush. We're gonna brush it in different directions. Not apply too much pressure, just really let the brush do its thing and hopefully soften up the material. <laughs> There you go, guys. I am all done resetting the nap on this new buck suede material, and it definitely helped out. It is nice and soft now. However, one thing I do want to point out is that the shoe is a little bit lighter than it was when we initially started off, like at least like from a dead stock point of view, it's a little lighter. So just be cautious. If your shoe does get that dirty, what I highly recommend is just trying to clean it with the dry suede kit prior to getting it wet. Now, if you absolutely have to wet it, then definitely go with the essential kit. But honestly, try not to get your shoe that dirty, right? We don't definitely want this. But just to recap, I used a soft brush on the entire uppers, went ahead and broke down all the dirt, took care of the midsole with the medium brush, and lastly, took care of the outsole with the stiff brush. Then we went ahead and let the shoe dry, came back and reset the nap with the dry suede kit here. Of course, that comes with the medium brush and an eraser. Now you can find all the products I use in today's video at rejuvenator.com. Make sure you use my promo code that is in the description below. And if you like today's video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I'm Johnny Bubbles. I'll see you guys on the next Shoe Care Academy video. Peace.